What's up guys and girls, we're back here on Raz Reviews today and today we're going to be reviewing an RTA which was made in a collab between the Vaping Bogan, who's another reviewer, as well as Dovepo. This is called the Blotto RTA. So let's delve down, let's open it up, unbox it, show you guys how to build on it, then we can vape on it and I can share all my thoughts with you guys on how I feel about the Blotto RTA from the Vaping Bogan. as you open up your box you're going to notice your blotto rta on the inside the glass that i've got installed right now is the bubble glass it does come with a 2 ml straight glass uh, i kind of cracked that one before this review and i couldn't find a spare glass so that one's kind of gone <laughs> underneath over there you're going to find your cutting tool as well as a bottle opener typical bogan style underneath your covering you're then going to get your user manual and you're going to get a quality certificate card Inside the box, you also get two spare glasses. Well, one is Altum and one is a glass. Then you're also gonna get your bags full of your spare O-rings, your spare screws, as well as a tri-tool. So here's a little overview of what your bull deck would look like. The bull deck has a 242 degree airflow on it, which has direct airflow onto the coils. As you can see, the two chambers coming up, right covering the coils. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be building on this thing. So to cut the legs on your coils, I'm not going to be using the tool provided by, uh, to me by Dolph Pope. Instead, I'm going to be showing you what I prefer for my coil length. I've messed around with a whole lot of different lead lengths and I've found that this specific length works the best for me in terms of flavor. So that's exactly where I'm going to be cutting the leads. This is how you're going to install it into the deck. I'm just going to fire it up now, get rid of any hotspots. Once all the hotspots are gone, I'm now going to be wicking it. So this is where I generally cut off my wick. I'm then going to be tucking it right in over here and you want your wick to be at a stage where it's not touching the base of the tank but it's just underneath the wicking port. That's the optimal wicking port, uh, the wicking position I've actually found for the Blotto RTA. So now let's prime it up and then we can vape on it and I can share all my thoughts with you guys. So there you guys have it, that's how I generally build on my Blotto RTA. I found that's the best way for me to get the best flavor out of the Blotto RTA. So let's fill it up and then we can vape on it. To fill it up, you've just got a unclip cap right here on top. Once that unclips, it's just gonna fill it up right here on either of the two sides. I'm currently using the bubble glass and the bubble glass holds 6.5 ml of e-liquid, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, like I said, you do get a straight glass with this which holds two mLs, but yeah, I kind of cracked that one. No one had replacement glass, so I've shifted over to the bubble glasses, which I kind of hate. Let's fill it up all the way to the top. The liquid I'm going to be using today is Chewy from Five Points E-Liquids, which is a chewy gummy candy. Let's close that off over there. So yeah, I'm going to be running it all the way airflow open. Just get that. So yeah guys, now that the tank is filled up, I'm gonna vape on it. I've got the airflow all the way open. Like I said, it's running a 242 degree airflow as you guys saw on the build deck. So you've got your airflow running right underneath your coils and then it's got two pillars coming right up beside your coils. And that's where you're gonna get the most airflow out of your coils. I find it pl closest placement to the deck works the best. So I've got these coils on at 90 watts. These are Boom Coils 27 gauge Aliens, 2.5 mil ID reading in at 0 0.1 ohms. Let's vape on it, then I can see how the flavor is. So yeah, 90 watts. It is a bit restrictive on airflow, and that was expected looking at the bull deck, the way that the airflow is positioned, as well as how much airflow they're allowing you in the deck. Running the honeycomb right down below is not really helping in terms of airflow. So if you are a person who's really after a lot of airflow like I am, uh, I particularly enjoy the Fatality by QP Designs, the M25, just because there's a lot of airflow in there and I'm still getting great flavor. Not to say that I'm not a fan of the Blotto, but I just felt that by not restricting it as much, uh, it'd probably be a, lot, a lot more enjoyable vape. A lot of people have been comparing the Blotto to the Rebirth RTA from Hellvape. Honestly, if I'd have to take a pick between the two, I'd definitely go for the Rebirth. I still find that the Rebirth has better flavor, uh, the bull deck is not as easy on the Rebirth as it is on the Blotto, but yeah, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. So in terms of flavor rating, if I had to rate this out of 10, I'd probably give it about a 7. 
Look, it's not the best flavor I've ever had of a dripper. I mean, of a RTA. I mean, they do mark on the packaging, dripper-like flavor. <laughs> I don't really think I'm gonna agree with that statement. I think there's, well, my dripper still give me better flavor than what this RTA is giving me, but it's a good RTA. If you're in the market for an RTA where it's an easy build, um, something where you're gonna fit 2.5 mil coils in here. Three mils do not work, guys. Like, I've tried Fuse Clapton's, I've tried Alien, Staggered Fuse, three molds are just not a friend of the Plato RTA. If you're looking for the best coils, I found that the 2.5 mil Aliens definitely work the best. The wicking, as I've mentioned, you don't want it to touch the base of the tank. You sort of get that metallic taste when you do that. So I cut it right down, as I showed you guys, where the airflow ring is. I cut it right down over there, and that's where I'm gonna tuck it in. So yeah, guys, that's the Blotto RTA from Dovepo and Vaping Bogen. One goal, one family.